Hey, hey, what's happening? I'm back with you. As you see, I'm wearing a follow me to Jesus today. The hashtag follow me to Jesus. New Mercy 365. Clothing at Amazon.com. Yeah. Just made a new design too, actually, um, that I put out today. Um, it's a uh, Christ Gang CEO. So if you go into there, you'll see that as well. Um, yeah, yesterday my topic, um, which was the elephant in the room part five, it, I guess it got a little touchy because I lost, uh, some subscribers, but you know, it's all good. I'm not going to stop because, um, that actually just, you know, shows me exactly why I need to keep doing more. And, um, you know, my goal was not to disrespect anyone, but to point out the, um, the wrongdoing that's that goes on in churches and hopefully you know that these people will turn from the things that they're doing you know um we can't be so cool with being comfortable all the time that where our sins aren't getting called out and that we feel a responsibility to fix that you know, we can't just keep running under people because they make us feel comfortable and they don't, you know, uh, force us to deal with our hidden issues. And that's the thing is I don't understand why people don't want to deal with deep rooted issues, deep rooted issues like that's the elephant in the room. You know, and I'm not going to label this part six. You know, I'm just kind of just freestyling today, um, you know, but I just wanted to just more elaborate on yesterday's video just because um you know, people are so comfortable to where they really don't want to deal with deep rooted issues. They say it's not politically correct. You know, when we talk about the real deep rooted things, the things that can actually help us, you know, come out of the bondage that we are entrapped in, you know, and I'm just, it's just confusing, man. It's like, they don't want us to win. You know, I mean, we supposed to just get these happy messages and, you know, or, you know, people telling you and not explaining to you and teaching you, you know, um, the things that they say that we should know. And, you know, we just supposed to be OK with that. You know, we're not dealing with deep rooted sin issues like we're not. No one's talking about it, you know. Um, you know, another thing that tripped me out, too, um, because, you know, with people that's, I guess, getting upset with me. Um, I remembered a few other things, too, that I want to bring up, you know, um, in certain groups, you know, that I was in. And this was another thing that pushed me away, too, because in certain groups, you know, it was people we would have groups and people would be getting out of line and, you know, and getting out of character, you know, and the leaders wouldn't even, you know, correct it. You know what I'm saying? Like they'll just let people just, you know, act out. And a certain behavior that wasn't conducive to what we were doing, you know, in a Bible study or, you know, a life group manner or, you know, um, you know, whatever group that it was in. And it was just like, you know, and I see some of these people and they're talking to the people. I'm just like, wow, like this is crazy. Like you're in a position where. You know, and don't get me wrong, none of us are perfect, you know, like that's not what I'm saying. But it's like it there it's a part of growth. Like there's a part of growing. And it's like, dang, like you can literally cut somebody out. You know what I'm saying? Not trip about that. And be like, you know, you're not there yet as far as your behavior. And then be like active in a sense of like in a leadership role almost or try to take on a role as a leadership role in a church and it's all good like i'm confused like where do we grow up where, when do we supposed to grow up you know when do we supposed to get to the point where it's like you know i'm trying to be there instead of being like i'm not there yet so if I cuss you out, it's, it's just it's just what it is, 
you know, um, you know, but, you know, but bless you, God bless you. And, you know, what I'm saying it's like your tongue saying one thing in one message. And then it says and then it says it speaks holy in another message. It's like, what part is that? Like, you know, like it's like the tongue is split. And I don't understand that, you know, and these are the things and these are the issues that I think keeps the church back. Because when you got people following these people and they know these behaviors and they see these behaviors and they don't deal with it, then I mean, it just continues to go on. And so other people feel like, oh, you know what? Well, I, I could slip up like that, too. No problem. Like I could do the same thing if if brother so and so can do it, you know what I'm saying? I can do it too. And they kind of like, you know, give themselves a an extension or more like a, their own olive branch to kind of just go out and wild out and act crazy, you know, um, in front of saints. So like, it's all twisted, man. It's all twisted. And, you know, it's unfortunate that, that no one wants to deal with the issues. But, um, yeah, that was another thing, you know, um, that got me, you know, um, so along, you know, and then when you think about church division and and the family division, I mean, I guess you can see why, because you got some people trying to, you know, live right over here. You got some people, you know, um, cussing people out over here. You got, you know, you got a little bit of everything. You got some people that's no longer willing to listen to other their other brothers and sisters because they feel like they know more than them. Or they're in a higher position, so there's no need for, to listen to them, you know. Um, and it just be, it just becomes more renegade, more of a renegade mentality than it is a unity mentality. And so, um, man, it's just it's bothersome to say the least, you know. Um, so moving on from that, but, you know, those are important topics that we, we talk about, which I missed on yesterday because these things happen in the church and we can't act like it doesn't happen, you know? Um, and one of the biggest things, like I said, is we don't really deal with the deep rooted issues within ourselves as a church because we say that it's not politically correct to deal with it, you know? So, um, you know, once again, be careful, you know? Um, be careful where you go. Be careful who you're letting put, you know, information into your head. You know, be careful out there. Um, the good news is, is that, you know, I feel like God is just, um, this was a test. Some are going to pass it. Some are going to fail. But he's so gracious still that even during his test, like, you know, he's given us the grace to get through it. And he's, and it's like, it's more showing us like, well, in the future, when I really pour out my wrath on the earth, it's going to go down a lot harder than this. And you see how easy it is now for saints and everybody else to kind of fall in line with like um the government dictators and things like that who's trying to control us you know who's you know once again took us from you know oh we're gonna put you up for a few weeks you know from social distancing wearing masks and things like that to now we like eight months in you know what i'm saying so it's like if it's so easy to do that to us you know you've seen the things about um coin shortages and things like that um, where, you know, the Democrats wanted, um, they wanted to introduce the, the digital dollar during the, uh, last, um, stimulus package and, uh, Nancy Pelosi to be exact. Um, and you know, the administration is not, you know, they weren't with that. So they declined that. And speaking of which in the sp stimulus package, again, the Democrats are acting crazy again, you know, like it's just the same old story. They're trying to push all these you know, things that they know that, you know, it has nothing to do with the people's, you know, getting paid and unemployment and, you know, um, for businesses and things like that. It's they're trying to push their personal agendas, you know, 
through these, you know, through these um, certain legislations. And um, it's a mess, you know. Um, but when it's their turn, when it is their turn, just know now that they ain't going to have no mercy. They're going to push everything that they've been trying to push on you onto you. You will have it served on a platter, cold or hot, r r whatever way you want it, you will get it. And so, you know, I just encourage you all that, you know, to just bask in God's grace, you know, that he's showing you that, you know, it's going to happen and how easy it's going to happen. But at this point, you can still you still have time to get it together. That's how gracious he is. That's how just loving he is. You know, um, some see it and unfortunately a lot don't. But um, yeah, I'm not going to hold you long today. Um, I just wanted to get on and kind of elaborate a little bit on the video that I did yesterday. And, um, you know, make sure that you share, make sure that you like, subscribe. And um, man, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I love you guys. Be blessed today. Have a wonderful day. And uh, peace. See you tomorrow.